Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend these visits. Check this out. We don't have any more February college visits, but save the date of March 6th if you'd like to chat with refs from PPCC. And on March 7th, the refs from Adam State are scheduled to visit us. And just added to the lineup, March 13th is the Simpson College refs from Indianola, Iowa, who are scheduled to visit with us. March 13th is also the date for the parent night for the International Salon and Spa Academy's Area Vocational Program. The open house is from 5.30 to 6.30 at the ISSA building at 5707 North Academy Boulevard. To enroll in this cosmetology program, your parents have to be there too. Stop by the Counseling Center for more information. The Paul Mitchell School, another cosmetology school, will visit us right before spring break on March 21st. And then, April College visits kick off on the 17th when Western Colorado University reps are scheduled to to visit with us. If you miss any of the dates for these visits or want more information, stop at the Counseling Center or check out their website. Juniors, WHS is once again hosting an SAT test prep seminar on Saturday, March 23rd. If you would like to attend, the cost for the seminar is $89.99. Juniors, you should see registration materials in the mail very soon. And seniors, you can also sign up, but you need to see Mr. Thiel in the Counseling Center to do that. Seniors, remember to stop by the Counseling Center to pick up your Herf Jones announcement. Mrs. DeBeta will take care of you. Just be sure to bring your photo ID. When we return from the break, we'll have some information on the WHS Engineering Showcase. But first, we're sending it to the Sports Desk for a Gladiator Sports Update with Isaac Fleet. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? That's right, Glads, it's Wednesday morning. I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. NJROTC Cadets, the military ball is about two and a half weeks away on March 16th. Festivities begin at 1800 hours at the Peterson Air Force Base Officers Club. To access the base, you will need a military ID card. If you do not have a military ID, you will need to provide your driver's license and state of issue to be allowed on the base. Remember, this is a formal event, so the uniform of the day is formal attire. Spring sports practices are in full swing this week. Remember to check in with your coaches before practice times and locations. Ladies. If you wanted to play soccer for WHS this year, it's not too late to try out. Coach Sardinia is looking for a few great players and she welcomes all experience levels. Practices start at 3.30 on the upper north practice field by the stadium. See Coach Sardinia in room 130 with any questions. Glads, did you know that we have an Olympic hopeful among us? That's right. Our very own Luis Ibarra will be traveling to Reno, Nevada in March to compete at the Olympic trials. Stay tuned in a few weeks when we'll have a more formal story on Luis and his journey to Reno. But for now, now, please help us congratulate Luis on his next leg of his boxing dream. In forensics news, the team is hard at work for their state competition next month. We'll have more information as the date gets closer. Ultimate Frisbee team, you will have a meeting tomorrow at lunch in Mr. Nell's room. That's room 116. If you are unable to make it, please check in with Mr. Nell for the details. We're taking a break from Damon's Dose the Health, but we'd like to congratulate Mr. and Mrs. Damon on the birth of their new baby. Spring training for the big leagues is well underway, and our Gladiator baseball team has also been hard at work with trials this week. The boys will showcase their early talents on Saturday with two scrimmages at the Grace Center. The boys will square up against St. Mary's at 9 a.m., then take on the Lewis Palmer Rangers at 11 a.m. Come out and scout your favorite glad for the season. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Isaac Fleet. Now back to the news desk with Moose and Ethan. Thanks for the update, Isaac. Ladies, you have plenty of time to get that special dress for the military ball or the prom. Make your appointment with Miss Ford in room 122 or Mrs. HK in the library. The dresses are free and yours to keep. Glads, did you know the library no longer charges overdue fines? That's right. You can keep your books as long as you like with without having to worry about paying overdue fees. Now, you do eventually have to return your books, but you're off the hook for fines. Come check out all the new changes in the library and their graphic novel section. Oh, and you have one more day to stock up on some cool books and treats at the book fair, but we'd like to thank everybody who made a purchase this year. And now, we're heading somewhere on campus for Miss Betsy's lunch menu. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what's for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we're having homemade pizza. Come on down and have some. And tomorrow, Philly cheesesteak. Please pay your charges. I, I hate calling your parents. Thanks. 
Thanks, and have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to leave any of your unopened food items in the milk crate on the table for students to have. Also, if you need to add money to your lunch account, please see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or go online. Glads, check the test prep flyers in your classroom with the dates and content for the test prep sessions happening tomorrow. Sign up is in the library for those Thursday sessions. Oh, and we'd like to remind all students to return any scheduling cards to the counseling center. If you do not return your scheduling cards to the counseling office, you may not get the classes you want next year. The musical theater production of Little Women will be on March 7th, 8th, and 9th at 7 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Tickets are $7 for students and $10 for adults. Come see how the March sisters handle life in the Civil War through music. And finally, we have some aspiring engineers at WHS. And if you've ever wondered who the next engineering genius will be, you should come find out at the WHS Engineering Showcase. Mark April 25th on your calendars for the Senior Project Presentation, where you can check out all the projects and activities from all the engineering classes, including aerospace, civil, architectural, intro, and principles. The event will take place in the WHS Auditorium at 6 p.m. That's all we have for you today, Glads. I'm Moose Santos. Congratulations to all the Renaissance and Golden Ticket winners yesterday. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great Wednesday.